Hi guys, this is our next video of analyzing a continuous beam using the ANSYS workbench. So this is the given question. You have to find out the reaction stresses and deflection and the modulus of velocity is given 210 GPA, Poisson's ratio is given 0 0.3 and the cross-sectional area is also given is 10 cm by 10 cm. And this is your beam. The point A is a fixed support, point C is the roller support and the point D is the hinged support. There is a UDL, 15 kN per meter is acting over a span of 6 meter and there is a point load of 20 kN acting at the point B. Okay. Now we are going to analyze this structure using the ANSYS workbench. Okay. Okay, go to static structural, engineering data and what is the E value? E value is given as a 210 GPA. So, but here the default value is a different one. Default value is uh, 200 GPA. But so I will use a new material. Let I will put steel one. Okay. And I will go for isotropic elasticity. Here I will give the Young's modulus. It is in Pascal. You can change the unit okay so i will take it as uh, 2 e to the power 11 okay because it's in the pascal newton per meter uh, this is i'm sorry this one is uh, 2.1 okay 2.1 e to the power 11 yes okay now I will close this one I will go for geometry right click and new design modeler Yes, we'll go for XY plane and look at. And uh, here I'm going to solve by using the line body. So I had to draw the sketch by using the line diagram. And let me see here the uh, values. Here the first span is uh, 8 meter, but in between you have a point load. Okay. So I have to draw the line first to 3 meter then 5 meter then afterwards 6 meter that means you have to draw the three lines okay so what about the units i will go for the same units meter and i don't want to set here the grid also grid is uh, up to you if you want you can put the grid but i don't want here so i will draw the line so i am going to draw the first line then i will go the second one then third one okay go to the dimension you have h1 h2 h3 so what is the value of h1 h1 is uh, 3 meter so i will write here 3 meter h2 is uh, 5 and h3 is 6 okay 3 5 and 6 meter yes okay so now you prepared the three lines now i have to produce the lines from sketches in order to create the line body so i have to select okay the three lines and i have to apply Still, line body is not created because you are not generated the line. So, right click and generate. Now, the line body is created. But here you will see the yellow one because you are not assigned the cross section for this line body. So, first you have to create the cross section. That is from the concept. Go to the cross section and rectangle. What is our cross section here mentioned? Here the cross section is mentioned 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter. Okay so i want to put in centimeters so i will do here, okay 
so here it is 10 centimeter this is also a 10 centimeter a square cross section now i will assign the rectangle one okay now it is assigned but you will not view the cross section because you have to on the cross section here now you will see the cross section okay so this part is over so you can minimize this one now we have to go to the model okay double click on model okay so here uh, you have to see the line body in the line body please make sure we use the same material so here let me see here okay so this is structural steel actually we provided steel one okay now it's okay we provide the steel one and mesh you have to generate the mesh so when you right click and generate mesh here the mesh is created now but this uh, element size is on the default values so if you want you can change the size of the element okay in this case we don't want to change it this is okay with us so now you have to go for applying the boundary condition for that one go to static structural and right click so what is the boundary condition first we will apply our uh, supports the point A is a fixed support, point C is the roller support and point B is a hinged support. Okay. So I will go here. I will go first the fixed support. Okay. And this one I will change it. Yes. So this point is a fixed support. So I selected the vertex here. Apply. Fixed support is uh, created next one is the roller support so actually roller support you have to go for a remote displacement here because in this uh, roller support okay the translation is there in the x direction and also rotations are allowed so i will go here so x direction okay free it can move in x direction because it's a roller support but y component there is no uh, moment there is no translation in y and z so we have to make it zero and now what about the rotation uh, rotation see here rotation is zero x-axis it cannot rotate with respect to x-axis it cannot rotate to y-axis also because this is uh, in xy plane it is rotating with respect to z axis only okay it will rotate about this z axis okay now you have to select which point you are providing the roller support point c okay so this is your point c select this point apply here okay so here you will see uh, remote displacement uh, x direction it is free to move but y and z direction there is no translation so it is zero and rotation x direction and y direction there is no rotation but it will rotate with respect to z axis that's why it is zero here okay and also you will see this uh, point is eight meter from the origin so this is your origin from this origin okay this is eight meter so at this eight meter these are the components and the rotations okay so let me see here yes so this is 8 meter this is 3 and this is 5 so this point c is 8 ma 8 meter from the origin so this is your origin okay this will be your origin so i will make it as a 0 0 0 yes now what is next next support is uh, next support is the point d it is a hinged support so again i had to go for static structural i had to right click actually you will not find out here in the support so you can go for assembly supported in assembly supported rotations are allowed but there is no translation 
okay so i will use this uh, simply supported so this is your simply supported point i have to apply okay so now we apply the support conditions point a is a fixed support point b is a remote displacement and point c the is a simply supported next you have to apply the forces so i have to go to the force here i will take the force what is the force the point load is acting 20 kN. okay so i will use the components and the force is acting in the y direction minus 20000 because it is acting vertically downward so i select this point okay and select yes next you have a udl udl is 15 kN per meter over a span of 6 meter so again you have to go for static structural udl to get the udl we have to go for a line pressure okay so apply the line pressure again take the components and the force is acting in the y direction minus 15000 newton 15 kilo newton you have to convert into newton okay you have to select the point and then apply so it is 15000 yes 15000 kil newton per meter yes 15000 newton per meter it is acting vertically downward okay yes so now you applied the boundary conditions all the boundary conditions supports are okay and yes and the load is also applied now i will solve here yes now you have to go for solution so what are the things you have to calculate so i want to calculate the total deformation okay and also if you want you can also include the directional deformation directional deformation i need in y axis deflection in the y direction only okay so i can change the orientation to the y axis yes now i need the stresses so i will go for a beam tool okay and also i need the reactions so go to the probe where you have force reaction at the fixed support and also the reaction is required uh, remote displacement and also simply supported okay next we have here the another thing i want to do here the shear force and bending moment diagram also you can draw it so for that one you have to go to insert and under the beam results you have the shear and moment diagram click on this one but you have to create the path for drawing the shear force and bending moment diagram you have to create a path for that one go to model right click insert then under the constant geometry just click on path so now the path is created and this path yes it is path type you have to put the edges and select the edge okay so i am selecting the edges yes so i selected the edges now apply so we have two edges actually yes now there is a problem actually we should have i did not select it so i will do one thing Yes, now 
we have three edges okay three edges are there so now it is created the path is created from one to two yes now you can go for a total shear force and bending moment so here okay you will go for a path and here actually we are looking for the direction shear and moment diagram in y direction so click on this one okay now everything is okay so now you have the reactions you have the stresses and we have the deformation and shear force diagram okay even uh, sometimes if you want to be a uh, combine okay you can hear the change the type of the stress also if you want you can you will have the bending stress okay for example i will go for here the maximum bending stress and here i will go for the minimum bending stress okay now right click and evaluate all results okay yes now it is finished now you will see the results so let me see the result here first total deformation so this is a deformed shape okay this is a deformed shape and you will see here the values the total deformation values you can also use the prop if you want to find out the deformation at a particular point okay here is a maximum deformation so around see here this is please remember this is in meters so how much millimeter oh it is coming and 91 millimeter okay so and what about the directional deformation this is a directional deformation yes now what about your uh, bending stress you can see the bending stress okay definitely the bending stress will be maximum at the point where you have the maximum moment okay this is the point where you have the maximum moment so the bending stress will be here maximum and these are the reactions so you will see the reactions here yes so this is in y direction reaction here and you will get the reaction at the remote displacement and the reaction at the hinge support also what's the reaction at the hinge support it will be written here yes this is the value that means around 38.27 kilo newton is the reaction okay okay so here total this is a total deformation and by using the probe you can find out the deflection at any required point okay and the directional deformation this is in y axis and this is a shear force bending moment diagram okay so this uh, shear force bending moment diagram you can see here yes so the first one is a shear force diagram and the second one is the bending moment diagram and this is the deflected shape or you can say the deformations at various points okay then the stresses okay and maximum bending stress so this is the maximum bending stress in the it is uh, in pascal and from this picture it is very clear at this point you will get the maximum bending stress so these are the reactions okay so and also uh, if you want you can see the deflection animations here you see here and this is showing the deformations of a structure yes so this point is a fixed support and in between you have a roller support and this is a hinger support okay and also okay then and that's all about this uh, analysis of this uh, continuous beam and using this ANSYS workbench okay then thank you